Today in our 2010 Ford Edge, we're going to be taking a look at the Rhino roof rack system. And this consists of part numbers RRVA137B-2, and those are the Vortex Aero crossbars in black, 54 inches long. You can also get these in silver as part number RRVA137S-2. We also have part number RRRLKVA, and these are the 2500 series legs for the Aero crossbars and part number DK228, and that's the custom fit kit which will clamp onto your vehicle. We already have the front bar installed, and you can see with the shape of the bar itself, it has a nice aerodynamic shape to it, and that's gonna cut down wind noise and drag while you're driving. Along with the rear crossbar in place, it has a combined carrying capacity of 165 pounds, although you always wanna double check with your vehicle's manual to make sure it can withstand that kind of weight. Let's go and show you how the rear one goes together. We already have it partially assembled on our table here. So we'll start out with our series legs. And you'll see it has this metal piece at the top of it here. That's gonna fit into the T-slot of the actual bar. So we'll just kinda line them up and slide it into place like so. Now the next step is to actually take a measurement here to our actual leg. Now normally, the bars come with a measuring strip, which you would find the measurement, cut the, the strip to length, and put it in place so you wouldn't have to move it at all. However, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to go ahead and measure it out. And you can double check with your instructions to make sure this is the right measurement. Then we'll take our included tightening tool and tighten down the bolt here in the center. With that done, we can actually put our end cap back into place and take our included locking tool for our end cap so that it cannot be removed. Next, we'll go ahead and install our rubber pad for the bottom of our leg. Now, you want to make sure the arrow on this pad is facing out. And again, as far as placement with left and right, double check with your instructions to make sure you have the proper pad in the proper section. There we go. Sometimes it helps to remove the bottom piece there. We'll just snap that back on. There we go. Now our final step before we place this onto the vehicle is we're going to unscrew this here on the inside completely. And then we'll take our clamp and put it in place. Now these clamps are whoop, these clamps are also labeled, so just double check with your instructions to make sure you have the proper one. We'll just loosely tighten it up to keep it in place. All right, now we're ready to set it on our vehicle. We'll open up both rear doors. And we'll set our bar on. Now with those set into place, I'm gonna go ahead and get our crossbar spread measurement. And again, you'll find this in your instructions. You want to measure from center to center to make sure that they're parallel to each other. Do this on both sides. Once that is settled, we can actually kind of snug the clamps to the vehicle. Again, taking our included tightening tool, We'll tighten that middle screw. And we'll loosely tighten it up on the other side as well. Once we get these snug down, we're gonna go back and forth between the two and really tighten them down, giving about five or six turns each until it's fully tightened. Now some items you can put on these roof racks, there's a wide variety of them. 
This will fit cargo baskets, enclosed cargo boxes, bike racks, ski and snowboard carriers, as well as water sports carriers such as kayaks and canoes. Although, again, always double check your weight capacities to make sure you're not overdoing it. One thing I'd like to point out before I completely tighten it down, you'll see that our tightening tool here has a curve on the end here. Once this is completely tightened down, that curve will become straight like it is now, and you know that it's torqued to its proper specifications. And our final step is to put our locking covers on. So this pretty much secures it to the roof of your vehicle and prevents theft and tampering. Take these two tabs and put them on the inside here. Close it up. And lock it up. Now you can also replace these on the ends with locks as well if you'd like, which you can find on eTrailer.com. And there you have it for the Rhino Rack Roof Rack System, our 2010 Ford Edge. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.